I don't talk about tag team wrestling because I'm not a huge fan of tag team wrestling, but can we talk about the tag team titles for a second? I'm pretty sure all of you have watched Monday Night Raw and we have seen that the next big thing for the tag team titles is WrestleMania. Six pack man tag team match, ladder match, chairs, tables match, you know what it is. The Judgment Day is going to defend their titles against five other teams. And the teams are going to be chosen the next few weeks, right? So who should be the team who will dethrone the Judgment Day? And now you're going to automatically ask, should we dethrone Judgment Day as a tag team champs? Yes, we should, definitely. I love Judgment Day. I love Judgment Day with all my heart. I love Damian Priest. I love Finn Balor. I love Dominic. I don't like JD McDonough. I feel like no one likes JD McDonough. I feel like Jordan Devlin was way better character than JD McDonough and he needs to step up his game or go backwards or something, but he needs to change something definitely or go out of the Judgment Day. Truth was a better addition to Judgment Day than JD McDonough, let's be real here. But as I was saying, the Judgment Day should lose the titles. In my opinion, the team that should win the titles is of course Awesome Truth. Just kidding. You're not thinking that Awesome Truth should win the titles, right? If we're thinking about the well-being of the titles, we should not think about Awesome Truth winning the titles. We should think about the team who is having an aura. Team that is representing the titles in a way that elevates them. Because titles right now are in an okay position, but since Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn took them from the Usos, the title lost aura. And the titles definitely need aura. And I feel like Imperium, I feel like the New Day are teams that can bring the aura to the tag team titles. Or, strangely enough, I feel like the Regeneration DX, or DIY actually, can bring some notoriety to the titles. I'm not sure if notoriety is the right word, but you get what I'm trying to say. DIY for new tag team champs. I feel like this will bring a lot of eyes to Champa and Gargano and they definitely need more eyes because they're good and I feel like DIY at some point will break and we're gonna have Champa versus Gargano and that's gonna be match of the year in whatever year this happens. I, I feel like it's gonna be 2025 but we're not sure. So the state of the tag team titles is uncertain. But a lot of people on Twitter are saying that this match is probably going to be a contender for match of the year match. At the end of the day, six team, ladders, chairs, tables. I'm not sure if chairs and tables are included, but all of this stuff. Can you imagine the winner of this match is going to be on top of the ladder holding the new titles? Some people, I'm even saying that they should throw into the match four teams and basically be Judgment Day against four teams and keep the fifth one a secret. And maybe the Hardy Boys are gonna return for one last time. Or maybe Edge and Christian, I'm just kidding, Edge and Christian are not going to WWE anytime soon. Maybe in the next year they're not going. I wish I want to see Edge and Christian retire in WWE, but that's just a fan fantasy. Maybe it's not gonna happen, let's be real here. So, at the end of the day, we're having Judgment Day right now as the tag team champs and the team who's gonna dethrow them. Don't look at all the five teams that are gonna be in the match. Look at one specific team, DX or Regeneration DX or Regeneration X or DIY. I'm not sure what is their name. But besides that, Awesome Truth is the team that's gonna win. Does that make any sense or I, got, I confused the hell out of you? I feel like you're more confused than ever. When I look you in the eyes, you look lost. But I'm just gonna sum it up for you. The New Day is gonna win the title. <laughs> anyway, tell me guys who you think will be in that match. And on top of that, who is gonna win that match? Because I have my favorites and I'm sure that you guys have your favorites. 
But in conclusion, I want a team who's gonna elevate the titles. It's not important how much these titles appear on TV or how much these titles are defended, but I'm sure that these titles need aura, like it's the title of Roman Reigns, like it's the title of Seth Rollins, like it's the title of Gunther. They don't have a lot of defenses, but these guys are presenting some aura to the championship. And once that aura gets synonymous with the championship, we can give the title to someone who is a little bit less popular, don't have aura, and that way we can jiggle with the aura. So what do you guys think? Do you like my idea? Pitch it to WWE. <laughs> you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter. Why am I doing this? I never promote my socials. If you want to check my socials, they're in the description. Besides that, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you next time. Peace.